Ho, oh, what a first day of the impeachment trial it was. We seen a lot of stuff, a lot of bullshit, all the way up to your waist on the second half. The Democrats destroyed the fucking bullshit arguments that Trump had, Trump's lawyers had in his brief. If you want to call them fucking lawyers, if you watch the second half of this goddamn thing, if you want to call them attorneys at all, Jesus fucking Christ. Number one, the Democrats destroyed this constitutional argument. Absolutely destroyed it on its face. Not, o- not only did they get all fucking 50 Democrats to vote that this thing is constitutional, they got six, six Republicans, six, Romney, Murkowski, Collins, Cassidy, Toomey, and there's one other, <laughs> I can't think of them, there's six of them. Now, I don't believe that these Republicans are going to vote to convict Donald Trump. We're not going to get 67 votes to convict here. But that doesn't fucking matter. Here's why it doesn't matter. It's because at this point, really, is it is it about convicting Donald Trump? Or is it about this country and doing what's right? Doing what is fucking decent here. And the decent thing to do is follow the Constitution and try this fucking fat slob. We impeached him while he was the president. He was the president when he did this fucking thing, the insurrection. He was the president when they impeached him for doing that fucking thing, inciting the insurrection. So he should be tried in the Senate like any other fucking impeachment would be. And all 50 Democrats, including six Republicans, agree with that. And the reason why they do is because the Democrats, the House Democrats management team made a decent fucking argument for the Constitution. This is a really weird fucking argument that this thing is not constitutional. And the reason, what the first reason why it's fucking weird is the obvious one. Well, he did the thing that you accuse him of doing, but you can't try him because it ain't constitutional. It's like a fucking loophole that they want to have. Like in a murder trial, like some kind of fucking murder trial loophole here. Yeah, he killed him, but by God, he killed him on the eighth day, and that that, that just doesn't go well. Give me a fucking break. Of course it's constitutional. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say you cannot try someone because they're not in public office. It does not say that anywhere in the Constitution. Nowhere. They're making dumb fucking arguments. Because they have, they don't have fucking shit that works in their favor here. Everything works against Donald Trump in this manner. And the video, the video of the timeline and the insurrection, every American should re- be required to watch that motherfucker. The entire video front to back and make a decision whether this guy's a piece of shit or not. Who cares about the trial? This guy's a low-life piece of fucking scum. Has been his whole fucking criminal life. And he will continue to be. Rather, the Senate convicts him or not. And that's the point here, is how history will judge Donald Trump. And more importantly, how history is going to judge the vote of these Republicans. Because we can hold them to account. We as the voters can hold these Republicans to account and hold Donald Trump to account. Jesus, if they don't get a conviction and he can run in 2024, guess who can vote against that motherfucker this next time? All 81 million of us, plus plus probably another 10 million of Republicans who have left the Republican Party because they have taken up the mantle of this shitbag. And they can't stand to be part of this party. Who would want to be? Who would fucking want to be? And I really think today is a line in the sand. Because Bruce Castor got up and started swooning Pat Toomey. Because they knew they might lose Pat Toomey's vote. And the reason why they're going to lose Pat Toomey's vote here is because they went on and on and on about how the state of Pennsylvania, the vote was fraud. The whole system was fraud. Well, Pat Toomey has to run in that state again. 
He can't run around the state of Pennsylvania telling people, oh, well, that election was fraud, but the one I'm in, that one's okay. Doesn't make any fucking sense. So, of course, Pat Toomey is going to vote to remove this motherfucker. Remove him. Convict him. Oh, how sweet it would have been if they would have moved on this trial as fast as they moved on Supreme Court justices. Then maybe we wouldn't have this stupid boneheaded argument about if it's constitutional or not. Get the fuck out of here. If a drunk driver hits and kills a family of five, gets indicted for murder, but then he happens to lose his job in the meantime, well, we can't convict him. We can't take him to trial. That drunk driver lost his job. We can't do that. How the hell are we going to convict this guy? He lost his job. We can't take him to trial and, and, and try to see if, if we can get a conviction of murder. Of murdering five people in a car because he was drunk driving. We can't do that. Fuck, we can't. Fuck around and find out. Hide and watch. We will. And tomorrow, they're going to start the real fucking arguments. And the stark difference between Trump's fucking bitch-ass legal team... Jesus Christ, where did they find these fucking ambulance chasers at? The first guy, Bruce Castor, he, he, you didn't even know what the hell he was saying. Couldn't find his spot in his notes. He had no clue what the fuck he was talking about. Just rambled on and on and on. He'd have better, he'd been better off getting up and saying, Yep. Trump did it, and what the fuck are you going to do about it? <laughs> He'd have been better off. And the second guy, David Schoen, that angry motherfucker, reminds me of myself getting so pissed off. And some people are asking about him drinking water. He was holding his head when he was drinking water. And they're saying it's a religious thing. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know anything about his religion. I do know one thing, though. He's a shit for brains, and it looked like he was trying to hold his shit for brains in. Rudy Giuliani's shit for brains comes from the side. Maybe this guy's comes from the top. Because he doesn't seem very fucking religious to me. He didn't have much religion if he's defending Donald fucking Trump. So we'll see tomorrow how this turns out, but I'm sure, I'm sure that there's going to be at least... One, maybe two more Republicans that are going to walk over to the other side. I just remembered the other Republican, Ben Sass. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if Trump still had a Twitter account? He would have been on the shitter the whole time. The whole time tweeting, mean tweeting as they were voting against him. Well, fuck Donald Trump and anyone who looks like Donald Trump. Fuck him. <laughs>